You're watching News Channel 18 at 5. News from where you live. It does not carry to a party. It is, it is about human beings. It is all about life. And these guys are trying to take the life out of, our, out of all of us. Thousands head to the Indiana State House today to rally. Good afternoon. I'm Nicole Kahn. Jeff Smith and Gina Quattrochi have the evening off. It's been called the biggest rally in recent years. Estimates of nearly 20,000 protesters, most of them union workers, headed to Indianapolis. News Channel 18's Aaron Leedy was there in the state's capital today and is back now with local reaction and our top story. Aaron. Nicole, good afternoon. Union workers came on hundreds of chartered buses from all over the state. They say this rally was not just about union workers, but more about an attack on the middle class. Hear our voice! Hear our voice! The chants of thousands of union workers could be heard echoing through the streets of downtown Indianapolis Thursday. Estimates vary on just how many people attended one of the largest rallies in recent years at the State House, but the number was in the thousands. Most of the crowd were union workers, but people like Mitchell Carrillo, a member of Carpenter's Local 215 in Lafayette, say it goes far beyond him and his colleagues. Everybody thinks it's union. At first they thought it was just construction unions, construction workers, but now everybody is starting to see that it's not about that. It is about the middle class. We are the economy. Protesters say they are upset with many pieces of Republican-backed legislation, a lot of which deal with schools. They're attacking our children. They're attacking our schools. We, we've, we've had enough. The middle class and the working people of this country have had enough, so we're here to fight for our rights. Archie Ganey is a member of IBW Local 668 in Lafayette. He says he's tired of the government trying to get rid of the middle class. It doesn't matter who you are, they're all coming together. They're coming together for one cause. They don't realize what they've done. They've awakened a giant in this country. Lieutenant Governor Becky Skillman says that the State House is the people's house and that these ralliers have every right to be here. This is the freedom of speech. This is the right to, you know, exercise uh, your wishes and your desires. The majority of the protesters had one message for Republicans. Hopefully they wake up and, and start talking with Democrats and, and getting, getting, start talking about it and compromising because this ain't right. Now, some of the buses are scheduled to leave Indianapolis and go to Urbana, Illinois, for a second rally with the Democrats who are on a walkout from the Indiana House. The rally comes one day after Democratic Minority Leader Pat Bauer placed a call to Republican House Speaker Brian Bosma, a sign the two parties might be willing to compromise on some of this legislation. Aaron Leedy, News Channel 18.